brothers down here. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Which activity will you use to delete the files from blob storage in Azure Data Factory? So this is a very simple question. You will be using a delete activity and I'm going to show you some more information so you can talk about that a little more detail when you're providing the answer. So the quick and easy answer is that you will be using delete activity to delete the files. But also you will be able to log that file into the blob storage of which file you have been or which files you have deleted by using delete activity. So let's take a look. Here I have uh, this uh, blob storage and uh, right here uh, I have this container called the input container. I'm going to go ahead and upload some files. So load uh, maybe five, six files here and then we will test them. So I'm going to load all these uh, text files here and uh, once uh, they are loaded we should be good to go. And these files are all in the input uh, folder. So that's uh, our container name. Now we are all good here. We are going to go to Azure Data Factory here. We will go to the pipeline, new pipeline. And uh, in the pipeline, we will use a delete activity. So that's uh, uh, the activity we are going to use uh, to delete the files. Uh, here you will go to the source uh, and then make a connection. Um, so it's called data set. Uh, you already have a linked service that you will be able to use or create new one. So we will create this data set called the Azure Blob Storage. And here we will select uh, the linked service. So this link service is pointing to my blob storage uh, that I just have it here. Um, so this is my blob storage and that's where it's pointing. Now what I will do here, I will go to the uh, further path and get the input container. So we are not going to select any file because I would like to delete all the files. So hit OK and then I will leave everything as it is and then hit OK. Now here you have a lot of options. So in our case we want to delete all the files so I'm going to go with wildcard file path and here I will say asterisk dot asterisk means uh, any file starting or ending with any name and then dot asterisk mean um, any extension dot csv dot excel or dot uh, uh, txt and all that uh, you can do recursively if uh, there are some folders and all that it will be deleting the files from them as well uh, now once uh, that part is done you will unlock the information uh, uh, which file has been deleted so you are going to select a blob storage a link service here so I'm going to select uh, the same blob storage and here I will browse to the uh, container name so input container I'm gonna put the information there and hit OK now we are all set we are gonna go ahead and uh, execute our pipeline our pipeline has been completed successfully let's go ahead and take a look here remember that we had uh, five or six files they has been deleted and now what we have there we have a folder here that we have a file there we can take a look on that this is our log file this should tell us which file has been deleted so you can see that there is a name category status and error and uh, this is the file name so that's uh, see this is the name of the file this is the category that's a file it's not a directory or anything else and then uh, the status is a uh, deleted so you can see uh, the next one and the next one and next one so this is the log of all deleted files so if somebody asks you hey which activity you use uh, to delete the file from azure data factory uh, from the blob story by using azure data factory your answer is the delete activity but try to explain all that details like hey you will be able to log the list of the files you know in the log uh, file as well so that helps like they would know that uh, you have used it you use the wildcard to delete all files and all those kind of things I hope uh, this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.